Welcome back, sports fans. I'm Erica Wilhelm. And I'm Kristen Curler. And you're watching this week's edition of Cal TV Sports Shorts. The number four Cal women's water polo team lost to number five Arizona State this past weekend, March 10th, with a score of 7 to 10. The opening quarter laid the footwork for the game as ASU came out strong and Cal fell behind 4 to 1. Unfortunately, this early lead for the Sun Devils left the Golden Bears unable to catch up for the remainder of the game. Cal sophomore Lauren Bridges scored the first goal during the last minute of the first quarter, establishing momentum for the Bears in the second. This allowed them to outscore ASU 3-2 with an overall halftime score of 6-4. The third quarter proved to be disappointing as the Bears were shut out, leading the Sun Devils to an unfortunate win in the fourth. Cal Jr. Brett Vosters was able to pull three goals in the fourth, while junior goalie Lindsey Dorst finished with seven saves. Women's Water Polo will travel to San Diego on Sunday, March 24th for the next game against San Diego State. It's that time of year again that makes the whole sports world go crazy. It's March Madness time. But the pursuit to an NCAA tournament finals appearance falls very short for the Cal men's basketball team. Wednesday night, the California Golden Bears, with a record of 24 and 10, matched up against University of South Florida for a 21 and 13, and were served a cold first round loss. The Bulls were on a mission, and defense was their deadly weapon. They allowed Cal to score only 13 points in the first half, coming out victorious with a 65 to 54 win over the Bears. Harper Camp was the team leader with 19 points and 8 boards. Cal's last hope for a strong NCAA tournament representation can be found in the Cal Bear women's basketball team. The Lady Bears have earned an at-large bid with the number 8 seed in the Raleigh region. Cal will face the number 9 Iowa Hawkeyes, 19-11, on Sunday, March 18th in the first round in Notre Dame, Indiana. This past Wednesday, March 14th, the Cal women's lacrosse team suffered a disappointing loss to Boston University with a final score of 13 to 14. The match proved to be a constant battle as both teams fought for the win. The Golden Bears capitalized early in the game with first goal by sophomore Paige Gasparino, but the Terriers closely trailed behind throughout the first half, eventually tying up the score 7 to 7 at halftime. The back and forth momentum continued as both teams fought for the finish during the second quarter. However, the Terriers were able to pull away with a one-point win in the end. Featured players for the game included junior attacker Megan Takax with six goals and junior attacker Melissa Humphrey with four assists. The next game for the women's lacrosse will be at 7 p.m. on March 21st against Denver at Winter Rigby Field. Rain, rain, go away is what Cal football players were thinking yesterday at Cal's Pro Day, but the rain stubbornly stayed. Pro Day is a great opportunity for the Golden Bear football players who weren't invited to the NFL Combine to show the NFL scouts and coaches what they really have to offer. Due to a constant rainfall, all outdoor drills except for the 40-yard dash were canceled. Defensive lineman Ernest Owusu completed 39 reps of 225 pounds on the bench press. He posted a 30.5-inch vertical jump and ran a 4.72 in the ring. Safety DJ Campbell did 22 bench press reps, posted a vertical jump of 38 inches, a broad jump of 10.5, and ran a 4.51 in the 40. Wideout Michael Calvin ran an impressive 4.32 in the 40 and had a broad jump of 11 more. Michael Kendricks ran a faster 20-yard shuttle than his combine time with a 4.09. Former Golden Bears and current NFL players Marshawn Lynch, Cameron Jordan, and Shane Vereen were all in attendance to support their fellow teammates. The 2012 NFL Draft will begin Thursday, April 26th. That just about wraps things up today. For Cal TV, I'm Erica Wilhelm. And I'm Kristen Curler. Make sure to tune in next week to get your download for what's up in Cal Sports.